296 rounds to point three, or sorry, point zero three three zero. You can put the zero if you really want to. Would you raise your hand if you able to get that? That's good. Hey, what's our margin of error? In percent. 3.3% margin of error. That's pretty good. It's not bad at all. So we're, we're pretty close. Why are we so close? Because you're 99%. Well, no, 99% should be kind of actually far away. What, what makes it so that even though we're 99%, we're pretty close? How big is our sample size? It's huge. It's a huge sample size. 1,300 sample, sample size there. That's making that, that margin of error pretty small. Remember that as your N increases, this whole thing goes down, goes way down. So we're getting a smaller, smaller margin of error. What do we do now? What do we do now? Step number four. After you have your margin of error, you need to do what? Oh, before we interpret, we have nothing to interpret right now. Have you actually made up your interval? Do you have a range of numbers that you're 99% confident that your actual population proportion is going to fall in? Well, you better make up that range. Step number four is create your p hat minus e, less than p, less than p hat plus e. That is known as your confidence interval. P hat or p goes in the middle, the actual population proportion. You don't know what it is, <coughs> but you're going to be a certain amount sure that it's between this range. Find this out for me. Point six nine two three. That's your p hat minus your e of point zero three three. How much does that give me, please? Like that? Less than p? Less than? Folks, you need to head down if you're okay on getting those numbers. You okay on getting those things? You see where they're coming from? You're taking your p hat plus your e and your p hat minus your e and come up with your range. Here's your upper bound and your lower bound. Now, you have to be good at the interpretation. How confident are you? Do you know the actual value of the population portion? But what range are you 99% sure that it should fall in? Okay, so this is 60, about 66%. This is about 73%, right? Here's what you just interpreted. I don't know what the actual population proportion of dropped lawsuits are. I don't know. We're dealing with lawsuits, right? I don't know. But I'm 99% sure the actual population proportion falls somewhere between 66% and 73%. Here's what that says, folks. It says that between, you're almost 100% sure, 99%, that between 66 and 73% of the lawsuits are dropped. Now answer this question, because you all are leaving these blank. It's driving me nuts. Answer this question. Are most cases dropped? What's most mean to you? More than half. More than half would be most, right? More than half would be most. If you have $100 and you have most of it, you've got 51 bucks or more, right? Okay, so are most cases dropped? Definitely. I mean, definitely. This is between 66 and 73% of the cases. 50%, a little over 50% would be most. So answer is yes. You need to interpret it. Because right now you're 99% sure that at least 66% of those cases are dropped. At least. At most, 73% are dropped. You're 99% sure of that. That's pretty sure, right? Okay. Did this all make sense to you folks? Yeah. This is a great place for us to stop.